I know a lot of people are texting in at 78592 about Brooke's tirade that was caught on video where she what? went off on a pizza employee that asked if she wanted change. I did. Oh. It was caught on video, Brooke. You can't deny it. But I, we're, I haven't seen this. We're not going to deal with that. Exist. Oh, <laughs> that never happened. She's going to deny it. But look, we're not okay. going to deal with that today. I'm going to oh, let Brooke okay. fight that battle online this All morning. All right. You know me. I'm and, taking those online fights. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, we're going to go a little bit lighter. Toys. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. I love toys. <laughs> Have you ever played with Barbies growing up? Or oh, Hot yeah. Wheels or Jose's favorite childhood toy, the Baby Bong? Then yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. Teach them young. Okay. I have some awesome news because Mattel just announced that they're going to be opening up a brand new toy themed amusement park in oh. Glendale, Arizona. Dude, that's so fun. That is cool. It's called Mattel Adventure Park. And I don't know how we wow. haven't heard about this until just now. Yeah. And how it hasn't happened earlier. Yeah. Just you know? the idea. I think everyone has, right. a, has a visual in their head of all the toys and just how cool it looks. Even the Hot Wheels rides. Yeah. They're oh. going to have Imagine trolls and... two giant Hot Wheels roller coasters. Yeah. A full-size Barbie beach house oh, featuring man. something oh. called the Dream Closet Experience. Oh. Yeah. Which, I love it. I'm in for that. I don't know if that's like the high school Dream Closet oh. Experience, but <laughs> hopefully not. It also has a rooftop where where guests can enjoy pink Barbie drinks. Oh my God. They're going to have a Thomas yes, the please. Tank Engine ride. Oh, that's going to be cool. And of course, because it's in Arizona, they're going to have a miniature golf course based on Mattel games like Uno and Pictionary. Dude, that's oh. awesome. I love that like they're just leaning into the adult side of it. Like, yeah, we're yeah. going to offer drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get on roller coasters. Yeah. Screw the kids. That's true, bro. <laughs> but I am assuming it's going to be just like playing regular board games where three hours in, you're going to be angry at your entire family. Is there like a fight oh, yeah. set? <laughs> they should probably put that in there yeah. somewhere. That's not the rule of Uno. <laughs> the theme park was supposed to open this year, but apparently it got pushed back to 2024. But mm. it seems like all the toy and gaming companies are doing this now, opening amusement parks. Yeah. Lego, Nintendo, Mattel. I hope they do a dog shock collar park. I think there's all, already dog parks. No, yeah. but not with the shock collar where humans can experience it. Jake, let's give the entire world a preview of the main attraction Whoa. at Dog Shock Collar Theme Park. I, what? I, do we have to sniff each other's butts? Oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> More than usual. Yeah. There are two types of people in this world. Reasonable people who just accept the fact that they're bad at stuff and give up. Mm. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> but then there's tryhards. Who attempt to better themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Learn Gross. new things. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and acquire new life skills. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Educate yourself. Horrible. It's not that bad, you guys. Oh, like, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Get out of here, Brooke. <laughs> well, a new survey asked a thousand people to name something an adult might take lessons to learn how to do. Oh, cool. Hey. I Question. have the top responses ready to go for a chills, thrills, and learning new skills edition of <laughs> Unglued Family Feud. We'll start with the guy who went on a learning strike in seventh grade and has kept it going into adulthood. That's young right. Jeffrey. <laughs> learning strike. Jeffrey, name something an adult might take lessons to learn how to do. Well, I know a few people who are full-grown adults now. This might sound kind of weird, but they never got their driver's license at it's, 16. No, oh, it's not yeah. weird. I just read a study where there's more young adults without licenses than ever before. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just me in my private school because everyone had chauffeurs and no yeah. one like wanted to learn how to drive. <laughs> no, it's because it's expensive and a lot of people can't afford it. Okay. Yeah, so it goes the other way too, Jeffrey. Uh, well, then great. I'm going to say now a lot of adults are learning how to drive. Driving didn't make the top oh. five. Mm. Let's go over to Alexis. Oh, I really want to take a class to learn another language, you know? Mm -hmm. Why? Or like, I don't know. Just that'd that be cool? It'd be so good. It'd be so easy <laughs> to travel. It'd be good if you had a reason to do it. Just you goes... don't think it'd be cool if I started speaking French right now? Yeah, I think nah. our ratings might go down. <laughs> I don't know. I think it'd be cool. She goes to London like five times a year. She <laughs> needs to learn how to speak London. All she needs to know in French is stop and like. <laughs> oh, my two words. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go to language class? Learning another Great language answer. didn't make the top what? five uh -huh. either. Oh, wow. wow. We're still... A I thought that was for sure. Clean board. Jose, name something an adult might take lessons to learn how to do. Huh. Well, painting classes are always fun when you hear people going to them. 
But it's really not a class. It's like wine and mm -hmm. paint night. It's not like yeah. you're going every week to learn to become a professional painter. And none of the paintings are ever very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There has to be alcohol involved. Yeah. I wonder if, like, yoga class counts. I think so. I'm going to go with yoga, though. I think yoga's really popular, Jake. Yoga didn't make the uh, top five uh, either. Maybe it doesn't count. Just oh. watch that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> True. A lot. Mm -hmm. Oh for three, let's go over to Brooke. I feel like I'm the queen of signing up for classes. I'm always at some sort of class, but I never f like do it long enough to actually be good at anything. <laughs> you give up after one try. Yeah, so like I took guitar lessons, you know, oh. I could play maybe you, two songs. That's Are you a still good in one. pottery class? Yeah, I'm in pottery oh. class right oh, now. Okay. <laughs> I, I made three mugs. They're not very pretty, oh, okay. but I made them. <laughs> but I, so that's... art would be an idea. But I'm gonna go with a musical instrument. Great Playing answer. a musical instrument. It's number four on the yeah. list. Great yeah. job, Brooke. Brooke is safe. Let's go over to Jeffrey now. Four answers still on the board for you. I'm, I guess I'm kind of surprised this one we haven't talked about yet. Especially during the pandemic, everybody wanted to learn how to cook. Oh, cooking oh, classes. Yeah. That's Plus, smart, there, Jeff. Even like date night excursions. Yeah. yeah. I've taken some cooking classes. I took one with my mom and we learned how to make frittatas. And I was the only one paying attention. Everyone else was like rich white ladies drinking wine, just getting yeah. drunk. And I'm like, I'm the only one asking questions. That's like, so, <laughs> that must be so weird for you to be the only person paying attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I was more focused on the eating. Guys, they were cheese. They yeah. food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's food the secret. Hot. I love food. Yeah, if we did a food radio show, <laughs> oh, they'd be my dialed gosh. in. Let's do adults learning how to cook. Cooking. It's number two on yes. the list. Yes. Good answer. Brooke is safe. Gosh. Jeffrey's safe. Number two and number four are off the board. Let's go to a Alexis. A class I oh I need to take is dance class. Oh, yeah, that's I good idea. would good. love to take one if there's nobody else in the room ever to see me. So <laughs> dance or singing class. Mm, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go dance class, Jake. Dance class. Number one oh, on the yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I thought she was gonna say driving class. Yeah. <laughs> what was your she, point? Did. she did at the beginning, I, or he I did. did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. See, there's the paying attention thing. Yeah. Again. <laughs> I'm just thinking about frittatas. Now. <laughs> Let's go over the top five. <laughs> Survey asked, name something an adult might take lessons to learn how to do. Number one was dancing. Alexis got that. Number two was cooking. Jeffrey said that. Number three was singing. Alexis would have gotten that had oh, she yeah. said it. Mm. Brooke got number four, which was playing an instrument, and number five was golf. Oh, oh. A lot of my bros do that. A lot of that, yeah. <laughs> That's true. In kissing class, too. Wait, so oh, Jose wait. is going to be taking the shock today, <laughs> and somebody wanted to hear Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Oh. Uh, yes. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny <laughs> that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get shocked. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> no singing class is needed for you, Jose. <laughs> the show is over, but you can hear it all again in podcast form. Just go to Spotify, search Brooke and Jeffrey.